have one person at a time tap. Well, so you tap or they would tap. Uh, you could put your hand on their shoulder. The other good thing about it is if uh, somebody, I was in another conference and they had a stroke and they had no use of their hand, but you could tap for them. Or um, you can actually tap on, if you, uh, you need a knee, for example, you could just tap on their knees. It's just bilateral stimulation is all it is. Or you could have them, um, uh, they get, so this is also really good for people that are ADD to help my, because my mind is going usually one side of the time. Um, more males have ADD than females do. You know that attention deficit disorder, you know, uh, fast thinking. Uh, uh, ADD and fast thinking, panic disorders, anxiety disorders are usually typically happening either in utero. If my mom was anxious, I'm going to be anxious. And the more anxious your mom is, the more the baby gets anxious and steals the uh, adrenaline from your adrenal gland. The adrenal gland produces uh, fight or flight chemicals, so it makes my mind wander really fast. That's what adrenaline usually does. It's a neurotransmitter to make my mind work fast so I can either run or fight. And so if I have a lot of that going on in utero, I'm going to be born with ADD and born with anxiety disorder. Or if you lived in a home where there's a lot of turmoil going on, it produces PTSD, and that will also create the anxiety. So you can go to one of two places. And usually in my book, in Chapter 10, uh, Breaking Emotional Barriers to Healing, is that information about healing ADD and what, how to do that by basically forgiving your mom, forgiving her for what she gave you. The good part of it is don't worry about it if you feel like you've ruined your children's lives because you haven't. <laughs> All right? It, you <laughs> it happens a lot when I, when I talk about this. Oh, my gosh, what did they do to my kids? Well, it even happens if there's turmoil. Like, for example, breach births. Uh, if you want more, learn more about this, there's a book called The Secret Life of an Unborn Child. It's by Thomas Varney. It's a really good book, Secret Life of an Unborn Child, uh, Thomas Varney. And uh, he even says that uh, breech births is typically um, our children turning around because they don't want to go out there. And so because there's something on the outside, because you could, by the sixth month, you're a seeing, hearing, feeling, sensing child. And you can hear, see light on the outside. So, so if your father and mother were having a, a hard time or you were having a hard time, the people on the outside, the children will know it and they see it and they don't want to go out there. So you got to bring healing to that. And so if I have this sense, somebody asked me, what do I, how do I know if it's utero stuff or not? Well, first of all, a lot of times, Holy Spirit just takes me there or takes the person there. Or um, if it's been there my whole life in this sense that, that it's overwhelming and, and, I, and I don't know where it started, go back as early as you can in childhood and ask them about, just ask Holy Spirit, is this utero? And just go with your senses, all right? And even if you don't know what you're doing, it doesn't matter. They don't know that, okay? So just keep on going back. Does that make sense? Yeah, so the good part about it is there's no real right or wrong. Just keep on asking questions, asking Holy Spirit to bring light and bring, and by your tapping like this or them, it just brings more information because I'm stimulating right and left hemisphere produce. That's what, dream, that's what REM is. All you're doing is manual REM. That's what we do when our, we hug our children. We give them manual REM. That's why they feel better because you're releasing stuff on both sides of the brain. This is, this is all by law. God created it that way. This is not new age. Does that make sense?